Today I'm going to do a quick video of how to get a DR92 backlink and how people are basically using it to get traffic and to get more links to the backlink to power it up, which will eventually go to your website as well. So it's getting a backlink on OpenAI, ChatGPT, and let's have a quick look. So Sasha noticed this one thing with uh, it basically appearing. I noticed it before with Canva appearing, but now uh, there's a GBT5. So these links actually appear in the SERP, actually, if someone's Googling this. Now it's currently gone. They've got rid of it. So I don't know if it's still going to work anymore, but I think it still will do. So let's jump into this. So all they've basically done is created a, a new ChatGPT, which you can just go from open the sidebar here, go to ChatGPT. I'm pretty sure you have to have the paid version. Oops, sorry, it's on to explore. And then when you're on explore, it will let you, the internet's going incredibly slow. So it will let you create a new custom ChatGPT here. And then you literally just follow the steps and you can input your own data. So I've done this for a few of mine. And let me just check. So I did it for Alex Hamozi. So basically, and Navel. So I downloaded like all their scripts from YouTube and stuff like that and fed it into the tool. So then it would answer as what they would answer. It would use their data. And what it does here, as you can see, so I just checked the index. So with the Canva one's index, which I'm going to touch on in a minute, the Nava one, which I did, is not indexed. And the Alex Hamozi one is indexed. So basically, that means the Nava one, I didn't actually do anything to. I just left it just to see if it would index. And the Alex Hamozi one, I actually shared it uh, through social media and used Omega indexing to index it. So if you do do this and you actually want it to work, make sure you maybe use an indexer, share it on social media, maybe try and send some links to it and make sure it's indexed because if it doesn't get indexed, it's kind of pointless. All right, cool. So let's jump into the Canva one. So the Canva one's the first one which I kind of found online. And for some reason, they've not included a link here, which is kind of a bit of a missed opportunity because when you include a link, like what Peter Levels did for this uh, Lego box generator, it'll actually link to your tool or website so you can gain traffic and power the link juice through this. But let's, I'll put a uh, SEMrush into Canva here. So this is the like rough traffic and this is probably when it was actually appearing in the SERPs and now it's gone down. But it's getting traffic and it's even, well, ranking 24th position for Canva, but number one for all this stuff, there'll be plenty of other keywords as well. But here's the interesting part. So here are all the backlinks it's getting. So it's getting, uh, let me have a look. Let's jump into the details here. But basically, a lot of people link to it, especially when they realize it's actually appearing in the SERPs and stuff like that. It gets a lot of mentions on social media, never mind backlinks from websites. So 1.4K backlinks. Uh, 213 referring domains. So here they all are here. So it's not too bad. Search engine journal. We got a few big domains. So you can literally just go through and just check. And you could probably just go through and just check what other ChatGPTs are ranking in Google. Let's go back into domain overview. So I've not tested this yet, but let's go through through it together. So GBT protectors, Pokemon Fusion. So you could probably use this as a little tester to see kind of what's ranking and what's working uh, for creating the chat GPT. Or you can just do it for the backlink. So it's kind of up to you. But Canva are doing it for links. Lego box, let's uh, plug this one in. So this got a lot of traction on Twitter. Let's see how much traffic and how many backlinks it managed to get. So it's not appearing up with any traffic, anything like that. And here's the backlinks. So maybe it's not indexed that one, but nearly a hundred backlinks and six referring domains. So not as good as I thought it would be. Maybe it's, uh, let me check the link. Yeah, it looks right. So not as good as the Canva, but I can imagine the ChatGPT5 got a few good links. But 100% it's worth doing and it's worth exploring and seeing what other ones are ranking, what's getting links. Make sure you index them. So use Omega Indexer or something similar to that. 
double check in just any other checkers and we'll just do a quick recap so you know how to do it all you got to do is create a custom chat gpt go through all the steps configure it publish it put in your website and then it'll link to your tool and get traffic to your business or website so it can be you can even use this as a lead magnet and stuff like that i know a lot of people use these sort of things as lead magnets just inputting all their information and using it as a search engine cool that's a quick one for me today have a happy holidays and i'll catch you later